Anyway, since I've been away for a while, I will explain in a little bit. Anyway, morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. And yes, I am back in town. I will explain uh, the reasons why I've been away is life got in the way. Um, I needed to reassess mental state and a few other um, things, as well as a couple of other family things. I'm not going to go into mass detail, but let's just say I needed some uh, time out. I will be trying to get back on uploading possibly once a week and also some other things, but I cannot guarantee that, but I will be attempting, attempting to upload one thing a week. Whether it's just a walk around here, a vlog from somewhere else, whether it's a movie review, um, whether it's a place review or whatever, but I will be attempting to put something out. And uh, as we can see, there has been some work going on because they've moved some of the um, posts which were further up that way and then they've moved them out this way to allow for work on there. So it looks like possibly where the new market area is going to be is going to be uh, started. And uh, these guys over here are probably loading blocks of concrete rubble and rebar into the bucket for then the dinosaur machine thing to move it whilst they sort it. So we've got a pile of stuff right there. Move that lot. Now I don't really know as much as going on because I'm blind as a bloody bat sometimes. So all I know is really is that it has been cleaned up a little bit. We've still got kind of you know the rubble there going towards the pit of oblivion. Everything else. We've still got some of the digging trench the dig trenches and things like that and part of like where the car park is and you know into the undercroft and everything. And then we've got obviously making things are still open pound bakery right there empty unit which don't know if anyone's moving in there yet possibly i heard rumors that there was supposed to be someone moving in there but maybe that one's fallen through because they've got to let signs back on it um obviously more stuff over there We've got foliage growing up here as well so there's that but this has been uh, kind of like you know the things have moved this way just a little bit for all of this because this is the area where the new market will be going it does look like they've done a little bit of clean up over here don't know what they've cleaned up because as i've said i've been away for nearly two months and i've just missed them just dumping out over there anyway so let's have a look what else they're doing up here then not a lot because one of the diggers is just sat silent the generator cupboard box thing is um humming away i you know before one one of the fence posts or fence panels was moved away so it could technically get into that gap over there but it's not really advisable there's more work going on around these buildings here as well with one of those buildings over there is having a bit of internal Remodification going on, all oh, that lot obviously we've got building over there and I um, think one of the next things I might do is intersperse this I'm going to have a quick wander over that way instead of going up this way Actually no, let's go, let's go up Let's go up, oh, oh, digger's alive, digger's alive We have a digger alive And that thing stinks, smell the diesel out of that Smell the diesel. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, obviously generator converter pack. And more controls in there. I wonder. Might be able to poke my way through there. Over there. I believe what was the Mexican restaurant has gone as well. Not a bad barbers. 
pretty good chippy actually that one not been there for a while but it is a good chippy what was the Mexican place I believe is either closed or just rarely ever open obviously you got Gillespie for gifts and stuff right. so Ooh, there we go more bits little bits of pro projects looks like they're doing a bit of uh, diggy diggy work over there because there's uh, some stuff which has crept up there so no I'm not going to put that across because they don't have a lock on it but, so there's uh, lower to what was foundation points over there obviously we've got a box there Got digger there and then what well, some people have nicknamed kind of um, you know the air raid shelter you can still see just over in the distance some of the Victorian brick as well going along the back wall of what is Makinson's so over there anyway pods we actually have some work going on over here it's a little bit of a scarf with mini like a mini control thing most have gone on so maybe they're going to start fixing that up putting some boards up on the side or fixing some of the innards or whatever with that part of the building that's still pretty much the same not a lot really has changed on this angle apart from this bit over here and some bits around there but hey things are starting to go so I'll just quickly wander this way just to show you what that's like and basically what you can see from the street side instead which obviously the shutters and stuff but I mean the guts of this place are beat to hell by the looks of this bits of the drop ceiling coming through obviously you know kind of drywall safe doors most of it isn't beat to hell but it's not too bad anyway pause let me see can I zoom in a little bit? You can see there's a, obviously a pile of bricks there that might have been carefully reclaimed and stuff. And then you've got you know, mini digger over there which is chipping away over by the back of the wall. Yeah, you've got that down there and more of the stuff over there. So A few things have been happening have been going on around here not too bad really but hey you never know things are changing anyway pause since the rebirth of Wilco's do you reckon that they're going to come back do you reckon that they're going to come back and take up the space again or do you reckon Wilco's is uh, here is dead dead anyway because I know that the company so I think it's a company that just buys up names and brands has done it or there is also the possibility that it is a full restart from um, people that used to work for the company that rebuilt it so you never know maybe they'll come back maybe they won't anyway we will see so pause again and then we will see you on the other side where we will uh, check the last bit and then wrap up pause anyway one of the places that we always used to check out over here so let's see what we can see shall we not a great deal of change over here to be honest but then again I wasn't really expecting massive changes within two months but it's looking tidier anyway the area is looking a bit tidier but yes it has uh, at least all the demo work is finished it's now just looking at what they're going to do with all of that and how that's going to work out and the ends there and then going through Royal Oak here is a really quick way to get down here an easy way obviously so got everyone for Pramtastic still a shame though that quite a lot of these lot down here have been done and as I've been saying all the time Yes, I'm still going to keep saying that I would rather have the old market, what is now the old market hall, 
as an indoor arena rather than it being knocked down for all sorts of other things. You know, some of these over here, you can easily redo these and probably sort out some of the upper floors, turn them into apartments. You know, some of the stores that are probably never going to come back as stores, change them around, turn them into apartments. You know, that would just make it a lot nicer and would be a lot easier. But hey, people that think they know better actually don't know better. But hey, who am I to say that? Nothing but a peon. But oh well. But yeah, just the size of the floor in there would be able to support an indoor arena, even if it was only like a five to ten thousand capacity. At least you'd have somewhere to have concerts that you can't do at outdoors because I know, yes, we've got Robin Parker and everything and that seems to have been a success with all of that but I'm still forever going to say that it is pointless knocking it all down to build apartments and what? Apartments and a pseudo luxury hotel in the centre of town Come on, who's going to stay at a pseudo luxury hotel in Wigan? Come on. Read the room, people. Read the room. Now, I do not know whether that clock is still ticking or it has actually been switched off. I haven't looked at it. Maybe in the footage it shows it still at a different time. But as far as I can tell, that's like, what, almost two hours out? maybe kind of like you know an hour and a half hour and 40 out but whatever but we will see and there's still noise going on because there's noises from over here and there's also noises from over on the college side which i will cover the college another day right now dressed like i'm dressed i am boiling i am boiling my breath first off Anyway, these things are always turning. Yes, I know I've got Playboys. I don't really care. Anyway, I will sign out. So, peace out. See you star side. Remember, you only get out of life what you put into it. If you put the minimum amount in, you won't get the minimum amount back. Do not give yourself a brain aneurysm. Good mental health. Goodbye.